Hi guys and welcome to Lizzie Dean Makes, I'm Lizzie Dean and this is the channel where we make, mend and grow our way to a big life on a small budget. Hi guys, so today we are going to be making um, a face and eye cream uh, for the Christmas hampers. So um, the basis of this is going to be aqueous cream. Um, so my mum's sister, my auntie Hilary, she always makes her own face creams with aqueous cream and always has. Um, and I have been looking at um, different um, essential oils and things that have the property for reducing um, stretch marks and um, acne scarring and that sort of thing um, for myself and have come across a, a couple of different recipes that basically all use the same ingredients so that is what I am going to be making today and they use aqueous cream as the basis which is the same um, as my auntie Hilary showed me about a decade ago <laughs> Um, so I have gone and got a big tub, 500 grams of aqueous cream from Zip Drug for £2.99. So uh, <laughs> this is not an expensive um, recipe by any means. I have got a bunch of different um, essential oils which I will go through um, in a second that I'm going to add to the aqueous cream. I'm going to blitz the lot together and mixing it in my blender and then I'm going to pot it up into um, these small cosmetics tins um, that I got on eBay so I have put my little stickers that say Lizzie Dean makes on them on the top of my cosmetics tins um, and then I'm going to cut some of these food labels um, into small stickers that will fit on the bottom here on which I'll put the list of ingredients and um, it's important if you're going to be making anything edible or for use on the skin um, that you tell the people that you're gifting it to what the component parts are um, because if someone's got allergies or um, has particularly bad reaction to certain things they need to know in advance that that's what's in your homemade items um, so that they don't use them or consume them if they're going to have a bad reaction to them and if they do have a bad reaction unexpectedly then they know what was in them that they can try and work out what caused the reaction so um, it's very important if you're going to be making um, things um, to give as gifts that you do include the ingredients list um, you, you would get it on anything you bought but you should also include as much information as possible on homemade items as well so um, that's basically how I'm going to package them up um, so I've got a bunch of different um, essential oils and I'm just going to read out the properties that Pinterest and the internet <laughs> say these essential oils have obviously I'm not a doctor or a dermatologist or a um, cosmetics expert um, I'm purely going off what um, other people have said on the internet um, and I'm going to be making up a recipe here none of them um, are um, going to be in huge quantities and none of them um, are bad for use on the skin full stop but um, in the quantities that they are going to be um, I'm pretty confident that my research is not going to be damaging in any way. So the um, first oil that I'm going to use, that I'm going to use um, the full bottle of, it, they're 10 millimeter bottles, 10 milliliter bottles, um, and that's rosehip oil. So rosehip oil is supposed to be good for um, an aid in skin repair and healing. Um, so it contains apparently 77% fatty acids which are vital for skin cell regeneration um, and it's supposed to be good for getting rid of acne scars, stretch marks, wrinkles, sun damaged skin, damage from um, burn scarring, all sorts of different um, things like that. So this is supposed to be really good for basically helping the skin to repair itself. Um, so I'm going to be using the full 10 milliliter bottle of that. The next one that I want to talk about is the vitamin E oil. Um, so vitamin E oil is an antioxidant which means it protects against free radical damage um, which effectively means that it's supposed to slow down the aging process in at the skin cell level. Um, 
so most cosmetics um, that you buy you know anti-wrinkle cream and um, night cream that sort of thing and um, do have vitamin E oil picked out on the label as one of their primary ingredients um, and so I'm going to be including it in mine I'm going to probably put in about five millilitres um, of this about half the bottle so then the next thing that I'm going to be using is carrot seed oil which is um, this one here and carrot seed oil is supposed to um, prevent dryness and skin discoloration so quite what is meant by skin discoloration I'm not 100% sure I suppose that means things like freckles um, not that I've got a particular problem with my freckles but uh, I suppose that's what that means as well as things like liver spots or anything like that um, but the preventing dryness part is the primary reason that I want to use this so I'm going to be adding um, 10 drops of carrot seed oil the next one on my list is the coffee essential oil so this is supposed to also be an antioxidant um, and help fight free radical damage um, but it's also supposed to have mood enhancing antidepressant sort of um, aromatherapy benefits as well um, so I'm going to be putting in 10 drops of that and then I'm going to be adding frankincense oil which is supposed to help with reducing um, stretch marks and wrinkles but is also supposed to have mood enhancing um, antidepressant aromatherapy benefits so I'm going to be putting in 10 drops of that and finally depending on um, how I feel when I smell what it smells like I've got some lavender essential oil which I may add to make it smell nice depending on how it smells when um, I've finished putting the other ingredients in there so um, I've got some pens and food labels to write these recipes on I'm not going to put the quantities of the oils I'm just going to put what oils and what the base is onto the labels that I'm going to put on the bottom of my cosmetics tins um, and then I've got a teaspoon and a spatula to help me to hopefully fairly cleanly um, move my mixture um, into my cosmetics tins so I will get cracking Okay, so I have finished making up my cream and um, what I had um, excess after potting up um, the ones to go in the hampers, I've just chucked in an old jam jar for me um, to use on my stretch marks, <laughs> so uh, I'll keep that one for me. These ones, um, basically I've filled each of the little um, cosmetics tins level they will settle down once they're actually screwed on it's um it's i don't know how to put it it's <laughs> it's the consistency of aqueous cream and um, it's um it's obviously fluid it can move and um, it's not um, as thick as um like paste like is something like e45 cream it is much more fluid so um if i screw the lid on and it goes upside down it will go into the lid it's not going to um sit where it's left so um i've leveled them off and i'm just going to um basically screw the lids on and they'll be done so i'm going to label them up and um, i just wanted to talk to you quickly about um what i found scent wise and what i ended up doing so um, I absolutely loved the smell of this coffee um, essential oil. It's it's not sweet like the scent of, of um, finished coffee. It's the um, the scent of fresh ground coffee. It's, it's a, a bit bitter. 
so um, I, I really liked it so I ended up um, adding probably about four millilitres of um, the coffee um, essential oil and then I used this um, honey fragrance oil um, to lift it a bit um, obviously this has got a very sweet um, aroma so it sort of just took the edge off the bitterness of the coffee but it, it, it's definitely a coffee smell um, that I've gone for so I didn't end up using the lavender oil at all but I did use um, some honey fragrance oil so I don't keep this with my essential oils because it's not an essential oil it's just a room fragrance um, um, cosmetics fragrance um, type of oil it's not actually um, I wouldn't eat it but um, it's, it says it's fine for skin so I um, have added that um, just to lift the, the, the scent so I probably added about 10-15 drops of the honey fragrance oil and mixed them together so when you put the blender on um, just leave it for a couple of minutes to give it a chance to really um, mix so the oils are all quite yellow in colour so you can see quite clearly where they sit on top of the aqueous cream and then you can see as they get blended in um, and they're obviously well distributed throughout um, I found that um, you know when you see them laying screed in their grand designs and they've got those boards and they do this across the concrete slab to um, to level it out. I found that that kind of action with the teaspoon um, putting pushing it down into the corners and then sort of um, shaking it to help it settle out was actually the best way of getting it to fill in to the sides of the container and level out. So um, that's basically what I've done to pot it up so I'm going to um, make up my little labels and put what the um, list of oils that I've ended up using is and um, finish putting my lids on them all and I'll be done so I ended up using the full 500 gram tub of aqueous cream and I have got um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 um, of these um, cosmetic tins full plus um, probably another two cosmetics tins worth of um, leftover. I don't actually have any more stickers so I'm not going to bother making up any more cosmetics tins and then I have more of those. Um, I got these stickers um, from a lady called Sheila Locke on eBay. I will put a um, link to her email in the description box below but she makes these um, stickers prints sheets of them so I bought um, two sheets of 24 stickers for my Christmas hampers and I'm all out now this was the last project that I had earmarked for them so I used all the rest of them on the cosmetics tins for this so that sort of dictated how many I made up in tins but it, it equated to roughly the right amount anyway with that um, $2.99 um, 500 gram tub that I got from Superdrug. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to um, see the rest of the Christmas hamper tutorials, um, I've put them all together in a Christmas hamper playlist, um, which this video will be a part of, and I'll put a link to that in the description box. Um, but please feel free to watch all the other videos which go through all the various other things that I've made to go in the Christmas hampers. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.